It's hard to believe how long we've been able to do this for a living. I mean, 2,000 shows, there's a lot of people, their whole career don't play 2,000 shows. I used to smoke two packs a day, hardest thing to put away. I still sneak one now and then. 2,000 shows is a huge landmark for us, you know, I mean, we've been able to do this for, uh, what, 14 years now without having a real job. It's just, just a really cool, really cool to, to be able to play this long and to have a career that's lasted this long. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of them, the national artists, they, uh, they don't tour like we do, like the Texas and Red Dirt artists, and so they'll, they'll never play 2,000 shows in their entire career, and we've been able to do it just a little over a decade. I'll start thinking, backsliding, oh, I'm sinking back again down that road. I can't think of a better place to celebrate it than right here in Billy Bob's. I mean, this is the quintessential honky tonk, baby. This is right where a lot of really got started for us, you know. Billy Bob's was one of the first clubs to really step out and take a chance on us when Beer Bay and Ammo had just came out. Billy Minnick had heard the song and really gave us, a, gave us a big opportunity and let us come in here and headline this place and we weren't really even ready for it yet. Every new year I make a list of resolutions and things to quit. You know, it's a huge rite of passage here at Billy Bob's to put your handprints on the wall, get your hands into concrete, get your hands dirty, you know, and once you're immortalized on the wall here and doing one of the live records, it's really cool, man. It's, it's, there's a lot of things you gotta do as a Texas artist. You gotta sell out Billy Bob's one time. You gotta do a live of Billy Bob's records. You gotta sell out Green Hall. You gotta play the Houston Rodeo. You gotta do all the cool stuff. And you know, I feel so lucky that we've got to do them all. And a lot of them multiple times. You know, me and my band are really known for our live show. We bring to bring it every single night. As an artist, there's a lot of things you can't control. We can't control whether the radio plays our next single. We can't control what press says about us. We can't control a lot of stuff, but the one thing as a band we can control is putting on a badass live show every single night. I feel truly blessed with the fan base we have. You know, they, it's not contingent on radio, it's not contingent on press. They're not here just about the next single or the you know, the chart topper. Our fans are here. We built them one by one. We built our fan base and they just take such good care of us. That's just a cool thing that goes on in, in Texas country that doesn't happen anywhere else. I'm saying we tour the entire planet and there's nothing like the scene we have down here where it's so well supported by the by the general population, you know, and you can build a fan base for life. You know, it, it's just so cool. Our fan base and you know hundreds and hundreds of them. I know them, you know, they're almost like part of my extended, my road family. So, uh, then just to have a, such a loyal fan base is, is a, it's a true blessing. Howdy everybody, Kevin Fowler here. I want to thank all of our fans that came out today, and also to all the ones that have put up with me for the last 15 years. It's hard to believe it's been 15 years since Beer Bait and Ammo came out. Thank y'all for supporting us all these years. 2,000 shows, here's to another 5,000. I ain't scared.